Hey friends, thank you for tuning into my channel. I am really happy about this video because there has been a piece of furniture that I have been wanting to upcycle for quite some time. It is something that was passed on to me from my grandmother and I um, called myself upcycling it once before but I need another use for it and I wanted to just see if I can give it a, a little bit of life so that's what you're going to see today I just woke up with a DIY on my mind so I grabbed my coffee and I am going to let the caffeine sit in so that we can start creating I don't know what time of the day it is that you're watching this video, but go ahead and grab you a cup of something hot or cold and enjoy this DIY and let's see how it turns out. I am going to be using a new product that is new to me, probably not new to you, um, to make this piece of furniture really nice. So I'm going to be quiet just for a little bit while you go and grab you something to sip on and we're going to start crafting. So here's the piece of furniture that my grandmother passed on to me and this piece is over 35 years old I know for sure and it was a cream vintage look and I um, used black spray paint when I called myself up cycling it once before and it looks hideous now but I gave it a good wipe down and I used my vacuum cleaner just to um, use one of the attachments to vacuum out the inside of the drawers that had excess lint. And because I'm painting this indoors, I have this plastic, um, I, I don't know the name, it's not tart, but plastic something <laughs> that I purchased at Dollar Tree and just laid it down so that I would not get paint onto the floor. So I removed all of the hardware and I took it outdoors to give it a good coat of spray paint because I have used this spray paint in addition to the paint that I'm going to use on the furniture and I think the combination is really beautiful. So I just removed all of the hardware and I have this trusty cardboard box that I use for my spray painting projects. And the spray paint that I'm going to use is by Rustoleum. It's metallic and the gold on the cap is a little darker than the finish that comes out, but it is really soft and pretty. More, gives me champagne vibes. After getting the hardware spray painted, I took out the drawers and I wiped them down as well. And I am going to start with the drawers first and I'm using this Kills chalk style paint and I purchased this in Platinum Ring from Walmart. It was about $20, a little pricey for this little can, but a lot goes a very long way and I have no regrets. And I have used this on several pieces. What I like about this color is it's a gray, but it's a very light and faint gray. It's nothing too dark and it's nothing too bright. It's like just a perfect shade of gray 
and um, there's like a tint of blue in it although I'm not a blue fan but again this is the shade that had me at hello and I keep a can of this on hand because it, it just brightens up a room and makes it elegant. Another good thing about this chalk paint, I did not prime anything. I didn't do anything to prep these um, drawers or the unit outside of just giving it a good wipe down with um, soap and water and one coat just takes away the black and that is like a thick <laughs> coat of spray paint almost two coats of spray paint on there that has been on there for years and one coat just takes it away it, it acts as a primer so for these drawers i painted them two times so i gave them two good coats and um, if i needed to touch up some spaces i was able to do that and the drying time on this paint was not long at all after I gave the two coats of paint on these drawers I was able to move on to the dresser and um, everything was pretty much dry to touch within I would say an hour One reason I wanted to paint this indoors versus outdoors is because, for one, I live in the South and the mosquitoes are horrible. And this paint has very little fumes that um, let go. That will be number two. And number three, I didn't want to miss a show. So I was able to have something playing in the background. And as my kids came through, we were able to talk. And, um, you know, it was just felt better being indoors so my husband said if I put something down on the floor he would support my decision <laughs> this was such a relaxing project and here it is the black is gone away I added the hardware back to the drawers and at the bottom there is a handle that is missing and this piece is so old there's no telling where the missing handle is. So I have something in mind that I am going to do to cover those holes and have something there so it just won't be two empty holes. But I love how it turned out. My intentions for this particular dresser or chest is to house some extra beauty items and accessories in the drawers. And here it is, ready to be filled with my additional beauty products and accessories. And I love the handles that I spray painted and just the color of the platinum ring. It's almost like the perfect shade of gray. I did not want anything stark white, so platinum ring was like the happy medium for me. And at the bottom, remember those that missing handle? I saw these two wooden handles or doorknobs at Walmart for a dollar and some change and I just gave them a coat of spray paint and added them to the two holes and it worked out just great. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please stay and subscribe and until next time, have a great day.